Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I'm here without even shaving. Why? Nobody's shaving. We're at home. But that's not why I'm creating this. I'm creating this Facebook Live. It's going to be brief, but it's going to be really, really important because it's about what you should do while you are in kind of hibernation. What is the best thing to do? What is the number one thing that you should do? Hello, Anastasia. What is the number one best thing that you should do when you are in this kind of crazy hibernation? And here's the answer. Here's the answer. I'm gonna wait till there's more people on the line. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm bringing some more people on. What is the number oh, one best thing? Yeah. So what is the number one best thing you can do while you're isolated anyways? Hello, Art. And here's the giant, giant answer. You can hide away in negativity and just try to survive. That's what most people are doing. So if zero is surviving, that means you're not rich, you're not broke, you're just in the middle, you're just getting by. Uh, or, are organized, that's a good thing. That's a good thing, like cleaning up. That's a very good thing. But there's something better. There's something way more important that you can do. My battery's almost dead, oh my God. Yep. So here's the best thing you can do. Boy, thanks for calling in. The number one best thing you can do is think of positive, zero, and negative. And right now with all the fear going on, the whole world's a negative. And so when you self-isolate and you wash your hands, and you stay uh, six feet from people and you don't cough at people and you don't make, make sure they don't cough at you. You're trying to rise from negative to zero. You're trying to rise from negative to zero. And that's fine. Hello, Bob. And I want you to be zero. At least I want you to survive. Hello, Martin. Oh, Martin. Oh, my gosh. Martin is the greatest singer in the entire universe. I love him. Hello, Martin. Um... Taking a bath every morning, that's good. Lori Gambino, hi. Oh gosh, all my friends are jumping in. So what I've been saying is there's positive, zero, and negative. And the media and, and uh, Donald Trump and the doctors are all telling you it's negative, it's negative, it's negative. And here's what you can do to get up to zero, which means survive. But I don't want you to survive. I want you to thrive. I want you to make lots of money. I want you to improve some important thing. Hello, David. I want you to improve some incredibly important thing about your life and about your income and about your business. So I don't want to take you from negative to zero. Hello, Ponzi. I want to take you from negative to positive. In this time when you're alone anyways, in this time when you're alone anyways, what can you do to go from negative to positive, not negative to zero? Yes, hit all those hearts and happy faces because here it comes. Here it comes. Write a book. Write a book. You're home alone anyways. Write a darn book. And then when this is over, when this scare and this fear and this virus and this uh, plague is over, you'll have a book, you'll be branded, you'll be in fame, you'll be able to rise, people will be shocked, they'll pay you more money, they'll want to see you, they'll want to attend your webinars, they'll want to interview you on radio and television, you'll be different from who you are now, you'll be different from who you are now. Hello, Za. So this is your job, this is your job right now. If you're negative, like, oh my God, look at the fear, look at the scare, there's nobody in the streets, all, all the companies are shut down, everyone's gonna go bankrupt. Yes, you're in the negative. The whole world's in the negative, so you're in good company. And everyone is hoping to rise to zero, hoping to get through this without dying, hoping to get through this without getting illness. And I'm, I don't want you to get illness, but I want you to spend this time to go positive. Why just go to zero? Why just stay at home holding your breath, waiting to get to zero? It's like, it's, it's just, it's not worth it. It's not a valid reason to live is to just survive. It's not valid. You don't want to just break even every day. You don't want to just stay at zero. Hello, Audrey. Thanks for joining us. So what should you do? Write a book. Now, there's two kinds of books. 
One is you write your own book and I help you do that. And if you want to do that, then, um, then just contact me. You can contact me through Facebook. But if you want to go higher, then you need to get into a branded series. Hello, Ava. Where you... <laughs> Art has a title for his book, From Negative to Positive. Very, very clever. You're understanding exactly what I'm saying. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. I have a branded series that is something like Chicken Soup for the Soul, but if you are the author of it, maybe people will think you're a chicken. And I'm also the author of a book in the For Dummies series. Hello, Jean. I haven't seen you in ages. But if you buy a For Dummies book, maybe they'll think you're a dummy or that they have to be a dummy to buy it. And so Martin Herkin says, Hi, my friend. Be positive. I do garden concerts for the elderly. Oh, they are so lucky. You're such a dazzling singer. Martin Herkins, H-U-R-K-E-N-S. Get anything you can by him. He's just, a, and he's got a Facebook live. No, sorry. He's got a, a YouTube video singing in an in a open area in the city. It's just, it's so beautiful. Anyways. Go from negative to positive. Write a book. You can write your own book, which is great. I guide people to do that if you'd like me to help you. But the bigger thing is to get into a branded book series like Chicken Soup or For Dummies. And I have a, a, a branded nonfiction book series called The Authorities. So if you get into it, not only will you be an authority, but everyone will know that you are an authority. You are an authority. Hello, Barry. Yes. And so I have a URL for you to go to. Tiny URL. Tiny, T-I-N-Y, tinyurl.com. Tinyurl.com slash Bob Raymond. Tinyurl.com slash Bob Raymond. Now, you know why it says Raymond? Because I'm going to be with you helping you write this book in a branded series. If you get in, you have to apply to get in. I have to keep my standards high. There's been about 170 chicken soup books and there's maybe a thousand for dummies books. And when I started the authorities program, I didn't know if it would take off. I, w I was hoping it would take off, but it has. There's now 80, 80 approved authors in the authority series and you can get into it. I, it cost me $100,000 to get into the, my first chicken soup book. It cost me another $100,000 to get into my second chicken soup book. I won't even tell you how much I paid to get into the For Dummies series. In other words, you have to get approved. There's a big vetting program. But once you get approved, you still have to pay. Mine is way, way less than $100,000. Don't worry about that. And it's taking off like crazy. Right now, it is the third most successful nonfiction branded series in the world. Chicken Soup and For Dummies are first and second, and then The Authorities. If you get into The authority series, your brand skyrockets. Why? Because your chapter is first. You get a chapter in the book and you're the lead authority. But then after you, there's three celebrity chapters. And then there's other uh, authorities after that. But the three celebrity chapters are what's so amazing. I'm one of them, and then you get to pick two others. And who do we have? We have the most famous celebrities in the world and you get to choose two of them. And I'm going to tell you where to go in order to fill out the form to see if you qualify. It's tinyurl.com, tinyurl.com slash Bob Raymond, tinyurl.com slash Bob Raymond. Now, so yours is the first one. And I'm the fourth one. Hello, Kebir. Hello, Liana. But there's two others, the second and third one. And let me tell you who they are. One of them is Marcy Shimoff, the fifth most successful nonfiction female author of all time. She sold about 18 million books. It's like unheard of. Hello, Natalia. And the others, there's four others. Wait till you hear who they are and you get to choose two of them. 
One is the most famous man-woman author of all time, Dr. John Gray. He wrote Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. You can have him as your co-author. Can you imagine saying I co-authored a book with John Gray? Wow. Another is Brian Tracy one of the most significant figures in the entire world on the psychology of success and on sales principles. He's just world famous. He's mammoth in the industry. So there's, you get me for sure, and then you get two of Marcy Shimoff, Les Brown, Brian Tracy, John Gray. Les Brown is the greatest speaker of all time. He's been voted, yes, Art, thank you for writing that down, tinyurl.com slash Bob Raymond. That's right, you can see it right there. Oh, Mickey, thanks for joining. So Art Luna has posted tinyurl.com slash Bob Raymond to help you you find it. And when you get there, there is a, a simple form to fill out. And then my staff or I, one of us will call you, either my most senior staff or I will call you and we'll review the questionnaire responses with you and see if you qualify. And what I've noticed is about a third of the people qualify. I'm very, very careful who I let in. So you can go to tinyurl.com slash Bob Raymond and uh, complete that form. You can go anytime you wish, or you can listen to this for another while. But I told you there's five and I've only told you four. One is me and you get me for sure. You're the first one, I'm the fourth one. And then you get two of Marcy Shimoff, Dr. John Gray, one of the top authors of all time, Les Brown, one of the greatest speakers of all time, Brian Tracy, one of the, the, the biggest people in the entire industry. And when I tell you this, there'll be nothing stopping you from racing, racing, racing to tinyurl.com slash Bob Raymond because I got the biggest name in the world to be your co-author. I got the biggest name in the world, the undisputed star of The Secret, the guy who got more FaceTime in the movie The Secret than anybody else. Hello, John. And it is none other than the author of You Were Born Rich, the grandfather of the entire personal growth industry. The 85-year-old youngster who is younger than anybody in sight, the incredible Bob Proctor. Hello, Dave. Great to hear from you. Bob Proctor can be one of your co-authors. Les Brown can be one. Brian Tracy. The, the, Marcy Shimoff. These are Les Brown. These are the biggest names in the world, and they can be your co-authors. How much is it? It's not $100,000, don't worry about that. And I won't even tell you how much it cost me to get into the, the, um, the For Dummies series. But here it is. I know Anastasia, it's incredible, isn't it? It's incredible, she can't even believe it. Here it is. It's not $100,000, it's not $50,000, though, though your income should easily go up by $50,000 a year because you'll be so branded, so well-branded. And when you get into the, the uh, Authority series, then I do all the editing, I do all the formatting, I even hire a professional writer to help you get that chapter done really quickly and really amazingly. D- did you hear me right? Yes. I hire a professional writer to help you write your chapter. I edit it, I format it, I get your ISBN number, I get the cover design for you. It just, the whole thing is amazing. I do everything for you and I get your book out really quickly so that you don't just go from negative to zero. You don't just go from fear to equal, from fear to getting by. When this scare is over, I don't mean a scare in the sense that it doesn't exist, but when the fear is over, when the pandemic goes away, when the plague is over, I don't want you to just say, oh, thankfully I survived, I'm still alive. Yes, that's for Joes, that's for for ordinary people, not for you. What you deserve is to come out of this Hello, Pam. Come out of this gigantic. Come out of this flying. Come out of this branded. Come out of this with credibility and visibility and higher income. That's what I want for you. So here it is. It's only $15,000. It's only $15,000. And of course, there's a payment plan. Just go to tinyurl.com and I'm going to see if I can put it in for you. Yes. Tinyurl.com dot com 
slash Bob Raymond Yeah, tinyurl.com slash Bob Raymond. And I'm going to pin that. Yeah, I pinned it so that you'll always be able to see it. Oh, I should have done that earlier. tinyurl.com slash Bob Raymond. Now you know why I call it Bob Raymond, because I think everybody's going to want Bob. Bob Proctor, the number one, the... the He's the number one in the sense that he's first. He's been in this industry for 59 years. You think I've been in a long time at 37? He's been in it for 59 years. And if you are associated with him, if you co-author a book with Bob Proctor, are you kidding? Co-authoring a book with Bob Proctor? Co-authoring a book with Brian Tracy? Co-author a book with Les Brown? With Marcy Shimoff? These are the most gigantic names in the world, and you can choose two of them. Barry said, I met Raymond in person, very wise and thoughtful businessman. Well, thank you, Barry. What a sweet thing to say. So that's my, that's my suggestion to you. Don't just go from negative to zero. Don't just go from panicking and isolating and worrying and washing your hands, which is all fine. I mean, do all that stuff. But don't just do that so that you can exist, so that you can stay alive. I want you to do better than that. I want you, oh, Lisa Phillips, hi. I want you to thrive. I want you to be successful, wildly successful, wildly more than you ever did before. I want you to look back on March or and April of 2020 and say, thank God I had to stay at home because I got to write a book and I got to write a book with Brian Tracy and or Marcy Shimoff and or Raymond Aaron and or Les Brown and uh, Brian Tracy, Les Brown, Dr. John Gray, uh, Marcy Shima, Bob Proctor, can't even remember if I said them all. The biggest names in the industry. You will come out of this gigantic. You'll be a giant. You'll be branded. They'll want you. They'll want you. They'll pay for you. They'll want you to be interviewed on their radio and television talk show, on their podcast. They'll want you on their stage. You'll be a huge person. So in order to see if you qualify, go to tinyurl.com slash Bob Raymond, tinyurl.com slash Bob Raymond. Fill out that small questionnaire and then one of my senior staff or I will call you and interview you. Hello, Gerald. And the reason that we have to do that is we have to be very careful who we allow in. We have to keep the brand high. People have to know when they hear of the branded nonfiction series, the authorities, they say, oh, yes, those are authorities. Yes, if you got into that, you're an authority. And so about one third, one third of the people who apply actually get in. So do a good job completing your survey. And then one of my senior staff or I will call you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Here's the message. Don't go from negative to zero. I mean, I do want you to go from negative to zero in the sense that when this thing is over, I want you to be alive. But if all you did is survive, if all you did is exist, if all you did is get two months older without death, that's not a very high target. I want you to spend this special time doing something that will gigantically increase your brand. And that's at tinyurl.com slash, slash Bob Raymond, where you can fill out a questionnaire. My, my senior staff or I will call you and see if you qualify for the Authority Series. It's not $100,000 like my first Chicken Soup book. It's not $100,000 like my second Chicken Soup book. By the way, I didn't have the 100000 when I was offered the first Chicken Soup book. I begged and borrowed for it. And it increased my income so much that when they offered me the second one, I had the money. I had lots more money than that. And then I won't even tell you how much I paid to get into the For Dummies series. And that gigantically upbranded me. It upbranded me to the For Dummies series. It upbranded me to Chicken Soup. It upbranded me to Jack Canfield. And that's what I'm offering you. It's an amazing opportunity. Grab it. Whether you can afford it or not, grab it. Because that's what I did. Because if you don't change anything, you'll stay the same. You're, if you don't change, you're likely to end up where you're headed. 
It's easier to ride a horse in the direction it's going. It's easier to ride a horse in the direction it's going. But that means you're not in control. That means you're a victim of your life. You need to be the captain of your ship. You need to be the rider of your horse. You need to be holding the reins of your horse and directing your life the way you want it to go. But people aren't doing that. They're just hiding in their homes, waiting to survive until President Trump or whoever is the, whoever's the ruler of your country to say, okay, you can go out now. But I want you to do better than that. I want you, when you come out, to be gigantic. That's what I want for you. That's what I really want for you. So I'm going to end this now. Go to tinyurl.com slash Bob Raymond and see if you qualify to get into this incredible, incredible series. It's only 15000 and there's a payment plan. There's a very lenient payment plan. So if you need the payment plan, that's fine. If you think it's too high, then it's not for you. That means you're looking at the cost, not the gigantic increase in your reputation and not the gigantic increase in their, your income. It's like if I offered you a Mercedes for $10, you'd say, oh, I don't have 10 bucks. Well, go bloody well get it, it's a Mercedes. If I offered you a Rolls Royce for $1,000, no, oh, I don't have 1,000, well, go get it for God's sake. Instead of looking at the expense, look at the value. Look at the value. Look at the gigantic value. Every successful person has written a book. Every successful person has written a book. Everyone who struggles has not written a book. Figure it out. tinyurl.com slash Bob Raymond.